And Jason Sanger set to face the first ball of the morning. Lance Morris coming in for the northern end of Bankstown Oval. And Sanger forward and defends out onto the onside. So they get through that first ball successfully. Sanger back and cutting, punching away nicely through backward point. Down to the rope for four. First boundary of the morning and another. Short and punched away nicely by Tremaine for four. Too short and it was duly dispatched. A lovely a horizontal bat shot as he punished it through and that cover point region for four and Tremaine is only two away from a remarkable 50 here. He's 48. Can he survive it? Uh, it's off Tremaine's glove and that's going to head down to the boundary for four. And that is Chris Tremaine's half century. He goes to 52 off 81 deliveries. A fine innings from the number nine he came out there with New South Wales reeling at 7 for 98. Parison Tremaine. <laughs> Parison and it's turned oh. in the air but through mid-wicket and that'll run away for four. Nice timing by Sang. It just turned his wrists on it at the last minute. At the Paddington end of the ground and see them take off over Randwick. Parison and this ball captures the edge and Jason Sang has to go. It's been a long time coming and a wonderful knock. Rocachelli into Copeland and... He's back, pushing oh. straight into short legs hands, who dropped a very tough chance. I think is that. We've seen him take some remarkable catches, even playing for Australia at short leg, and he's just so brave because he just stays nice and low, doesn't come up too early. Anyway, here's Roccicelli to start after the drinks break, and Tremaine is out. Caught first ball after the drinks by Cameron Bancroft. Tremaine advanced a few paces down the wicket. The ball bounced a little more, and Tremaine edged it to Pat Cameron Bancroft at short leg. And even if he wants to pull it, he, he, he wants to get him behind the ball. Short now, replacing... I think he's got a... He replacing has. Paris, and he's got a wicked first ball of his spell. Copeland just edged that to Philippi, and he's gone. Fantastic. Short with the golden arm, gets a wicket. Now, uh, uh, talk to me. Where are we, uh, where are we in regards to follow-on? Well, the follow-on's been avoided. Right. So the lead for Western Australia is 148. It's far from being over, this game. Um, and considering New South Wales in the first innings in probably some of the better batting conditions, um, you know, we're, we're 7 for 80, I, I think it'd be quite buoyed. As a New South Wales play a few shots and go for the runs, and that might give you a few more opportunities. Well, how, I mean, this, I, I've never been able to understand this table um, because of the... Welcome back to Bankstown Oval. The sun is shining and we are ready for the Western Australian second innings. New South Wales dismissed 148 runs shy of that, uh, that first innings total. Western Australia six declared for 356. The Blues made 208 on the strength of Trent Copeland in. And Bancroft is forward and pushing out to the offside. Nice ball in the league side. Clipped very, very fine. It's a long chase out there. For I think that's Riley Eyre trying to reel it in. In comes Tremaine. Bancroft forward and he's got him caught behind. He just propped that leg forward and, and played down the line. It takes a little tickle off the outside edge and a dream start for New South Wales. Cameron Bancroft who frustrated them for over 200 balls in the first innings. Around the wicket. Must driving away through backward point. No one out there. And it dribbles its way down to the third man rope for four. So Marsh... Driven lovely out through cover. Magnificent shot from Sean Marsh. That's him at his very best as he comes forward. Cloud cover around Bankstown Oval. And the ball takes the edge and uh, just goes between third slip and gully. And rolls down towards the boundary. Slowing up in the outfield. That's right. Yeah, she was she attached to this club as well. Pitched up and bowls him. Oh, what a ball from Chris Tremaine. Maybe stayed a touch low, but completely oh. bamboozled Sean Marsh. And that... Look to tail back in. We get a better angle here. And yeah, but just gone between bat and paddle. It's beaten him on the outside. But it's a perfect length as well. And you see, they're just hitting the top of off stump. We're waiting for any chance that Cartwright might give. And he delightfully plays that late off the back foot behind point on the offside. And that'll run away for four. Sanger tosses up and... Oh, what bold. a beautiful delivery. That is something special from Jason Sanger. Wow. 
Better view of it here. Look at that. What a beautiful spinning. Oh, oh shame on. That is just an absolute peach. Drifted in, spun away, and that's his 13th first class wicket. Uh, Hilton Cartwright, wasn't it? He comes around the wicket now and punched out through cover, and that might have enough on it to creep its way towards the boundary rope for four, it does. Air continuing around the wicket. And Philippi's driving. It's going to be his first wicket in first class cricket. Well done, Riley Air. Tremaine took the catch. Philippi tried to hit him over the top. It ballooned off the outside edge. And that is a moment Riley Air will never forget. Congratulations to the player from Randwick Petersham. Back and oh. cutting, and he almost took off Matt Jilks' <laughs> head first balls. He's th absolutely thundered that through it's a cover for four. Right, well, in saying that, I'm going with Hardy. He's had a great summer, and he looks, look at that, that is just rock solid defence. Yeah, punched there. down the ground. Big, impressive player. We're well, going to need to hold that thought, Socky, because I'm, uh, I'm jumping on out of here. Andrew Mensel's going to come in, so maybe. Oh, no, that looks like they're calling it off and oh, shaking hands. Well. So, Andrew Mensel, <laughs> I've just stitched him up there. He, he doesn't get a chance there. In fact, calling it off, and it is going to be a draw. So, that's the, that's the end of that. Uh, to have fallen in that WA innings. Cameron Bancroft was caught hold off the bowling of Tremaine for two. Uh, Sean Marsh bowled by Chris Tremaine and one of the balls of the match. The pick of the bowlers for New South Wales, Curtis Patterson shuffling them around. We also saw a wicket to Jason Sanger, six over his one for 12. Riley Air with his first first-class wicket to go with his first first-class run, but he got early in the day, also picked up a wicket.